the morning. And in this session of morning moments with Jesus, I'm impressed upon my spirit this morning to just thank the Lord for what we have. Thank the Lord for what he has blessed us with. And the word that comes to mind this morning is just making the most of what the Lord has given us in our lives. I really feel like we fall short in taking what God has given us and making the very best out of that situation or the even the physical and material things that God allows us to have. So many times in our lives we aren't as grateful as we need to be for what the Lord has truly blessed us with. The Apostle Paul writes quite a bit in his letters and his epistles about being content. In Philippians 4.11, he says this, Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatever state I am in, therewith to be content. He writes to Timothy in 1 Timothy 6, verse 8, And having food and clothing, let us be content. He also writes in Hebrew 13, 5, Let your conversation be without covetousness, and be content with such things as you have. For he has said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee what the word content in all three of these means is self-sufficiency not apart from Christ but what he's saying is I have learned to make the most of what God has given me And, and, and guys I believe if we just make the most today out of whatever the Lord has allowed to come into your life. If it's joyful things and great things, take the time today to just spend a little time thanking Jesus for that season in your life where He has tremendously blessed you. If it is suffering and pain that you're having to go through right now, Make the most of the situation. Ask the Lord, Lord, what are you trying to show me through this? Or what do I need to learn from this? Or how can I help someone else by what I'm going through right now? I believe if we could just learn to be content. Stop chasing things. Stop chasing the next thing and just start thanking God for the things He's already blessed you with. I believe our life would be more content, more joyful. Pray a blessing over you today. I pray that God would show you how to make the very best out of the situation that you're going through or the things that you have. That you would not keep chasing life, but that you would just settle into spending time with Jesus. He's more than enough. He's more than a conqueror in our lives. I pray for your health. I pray for your finances. I pray for your family. Everything that concerns you today, I take before the throne room of God on your behalf. I always pray that you be safe because we need to be safe out there. I pray that you would be strong. Stand against 
any forces of evil that tries to come against you. For greater is he that is in you than anything that is in the world. But above everything, I pray that you would be blessed. Blessed in knowing that God has given you all you need for this day. So be content. Make the most of what God has blessed you with today. I pray I'll see you back here again tomorrow. Until then, have a great day.